I am pleased to say that we hit a milestone uh, this week, and it's great. It is the culmination of a lot of hard work, a lot of learnings, and the train ain't stopping. Our first segment is going to be, I posted YouTube Shorts for two weeks and every day, and here's the results of that test. So if you're a content creator and you're trying to see what are these YouTube Shorts about, what are they doing, uh, Here's going to be the video for you. We did hit 100 subscribers with that said. So it's incredible. We did hit 100 subscribers. And I have a dashboard that I made for y'all using uh, for my day job. I use David Studios. is a marketing platform that we use for all the things. Thank you, Cherry. So we're going to be showcasing y'all some stats, going over some stuff, and really just diving into like what happens when you post daily content and all the things are in. So we're, we're going to talk about this real, real quick, a little bit about me. How y'all doing? Welcome in. Let me pause the music super fast. A little bit about me. I'm a digital marketer for the past 10 years. Been doing content creation on Twitch for about, it's been about six years, but really I've been serious about it for about, call it three years. Uh, three of those six was me focusing on the day job, not giving everything to the actual creation of the content. Instead, I was learning the systems to be able to do this at scale. Now I'm executing on those things. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. So here is the data for YouTube shorts for two weeks. Okay, so this dashboard is not super pretty, but because I slapped this together and I just wanted to get it up to show y'all kind of what was going on. So the some caveats here. We took our YouTube shorts and also posted the same videos to Instagram Reels and to TikTok. So we're going to be talking about the differences there. So if you want to see the differences between those platforms, come on back for that. All of the shorts were specifically uh, clips from our stream from the past, right? So I'm going to pull up the YouTube here. If you scroll down to our YouTube, definitely go down to YouTube and press that sub button. If you're watching this, please subscribe. If you're getting some value out of this, you won't regret all the things. At the very bottom, we got our shorts playlist. And the views were wild and the content was varied and the hashtags were varied, but they were all gaming moment oriented clips, not so much streamer highlights, more of like pog champ or like silly moments, right? So that's, that's the similarities. But the similarities stop at there. The we had Han Showdown, we had Rainbow Six, we had Ark, we had all this different stuff. And we're going to show y'all the effects of those things right now. So here's the graphs. What you're looking at is a at the very top is what I like to call a top level view of what happened. So in this last two weeks from July 23rd, we had about 176 hours of watch time. That's great. As you can see, it's a massive uptick. We went from not posting to posting every day for two weeks. That's the easy one. Average view percentage. This is something that TikTok uses. TikTok and YouTube and Reels use their algorithm like this. The more watch percentage per video you have, the more they're going to push you. So if a video is being watched like 80%, 90% of the way through, the algorithm is going to push that video to more people. So that's something to really look at at the very top. We got a total of 59 subscribers this week alone. Now that sounds like a tiny number to people, but I had 30-ish, something like it was like 30 one something like that it was like very little so we more than doubled our subscribes in about two weeks the bulk of those came from a single video you'll see you'll see and of course we got all of these views so why why track all this well in order to get uh, monetization on youtube you have to have a certain number of subscribers you have to have a certain number of watch time and all of these then tie into those things so that's why so that's like the top level view at the non-shorts level that is videos that were not shorts we've been putting out uh, Subnautica episodes, as well as our informative talks. This week, I believe, was mainly, if I look at the YouTube, it's mainly Subnautica episodes. Yes, so it's primarily Subnautica. And we did a single one about two weeks ago about the Hot Tub Meta on Twitch. So that was, which is an interesting video in and of itself, you know. So all of these have been Subnautica videos, and that's what this is. So you can see back here, we're getting like none, 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 a spike in videos. So this is a common thing for newer creators that are just posting their first videos, YouTube and TikTok and Instagram and all these platforms, they'll tend to push your video out if it's like your first video because they want you to keep coming back. They want you to get that hit of, do that hit of dopamine. But then we didn't post really any other videos and you could see stuff kind of backsliding. Here was another video and then here was an another video. Typically every spike is going to be some kind of episode. 
Now, you'll see that back here, it's like 2255. Don't focus so much on the numbers of views. It's still a, essentially a new channel. So the raw numbers aren't really what to look at here. What you want to look at is the trends of where the views are going. So back here, the, the views are only really spiking on episode days. And then the rest of it's like two views, nothing really. Then on this last week, when we were posting episodes every day, you'll see that the bottom is like eight and 10. The bottom is way higher than the you know minimum when I was just posting one a week. So the takeaways from that is the more you post, the more views you get. This sounds like an obvious fact, it's not. People like to focus when you're just starting out or when you're scaling up your content. If you're trying to be a Twitch partner and you can't find people to come to your channel, YouTube is one of the best ways. Posting consistently to YouTube is the number one way that you can grow your Twitch stream. Okay, so this is one of those reasons and this is showcasing this. The more views, the more videos you post, the more views you get, the more eyeballs you have on your content, the more people can see you on your Twitch stream, granted if you link your Twitch stream. Okay, so then we get to the shorts. <laughs> The shorts. So the peak views of the episodes, again, were a fairly unknown channel yet, yet, you know, about 36 views. Our shorts we had in one day, we had almost 8,000 views, and that's from one of our ARC clips. I'm not surprised that ARC Survival, one of our favorite games of our history, is actually the one that gets the peak. I'm not surprised at all. It makes me very happy to see. And then you had some other viral videos and then some stuff that was just kind of middle of the pack. Now, don't see these on the bottom and say, oh, they're kind of whatever. 900 views, 700 views, 2000 views. I'm used to my videos getting 10 views, 20 views for now again, because new channel. I'm not mad about it. We're new. This is how it goes, right? If you're a new creator, and you're really trying to test YouTube, do YouTube shorts. They're clearly pushing those as content mediums. YouTube on, on YouTube's own Twitter, they're absolutely spamming about YouTube shorts. Here's what YouTube shorts are. Feature your shorts, memes about wearing shorts like they're, you know, these, these boomers. They're coming in with memes trying to get us to use their product and it's working, chat, okay? So if you're a new creator, use shorts as a way to push your channel forward in addition to your episodes. I don't think you should do just shorts because this is not necessarily going to help you grow because YouTube as a portfolio for your content is very powerful. And if all you have is shorts, not so sure on that. Try both and see which one your audience is landing in more and then go from there. That's one of our themes here. We can see this basically mirrors the all views thing. So this is an important stat right here, average watch time. So most of my videos are between 10 and 15 minutes. So the average that people are watching my non shorts are about five minutes. What you can do with this if you're a, if you're a creator is you can take your subscribe like hey, or subscribe to the channel message or the little graphic that we have on ours. Uh, or I have like a, hey, support me on a, a Patreon graphic. You can put those before the average watch time that your videos are getting to guarantee that the most people that are watching your videos are seeing those messages, okay? So don't put like, I'm not gonna put my, hey, support me on Patreon at like nine minutes, right? We have an end card, we have an outro for that anyway. So not gonna do that. Of course, the shorts are way less because our, I think our, most of our shorts were about 15 seconds. I think a couple of them in the last days were about 30 seconds. So I'm more concerned about this. This is one of, this is the reason why our shorts went viral when I'm, I call it semi-viral, 11,000 views on our ARC video. We're going to get to that. If your view percentage is super high, TikTok and YouTube and Instagram are gonna keep pushing those out. And this is great. I see that and I go, okay, our short, our shorts content strategy is working and our non-shorts are not working. You see this? So I either have to work on the SEO of our stuff or also you have to understand, Chan, not every, not every kind of episode that you put out is going to get viral immediately. It doesn't mean you should stop putting out the content. What you need to do is put out a couple episode types and then see what works more as you grow. So right now we're putting out primarily Subnautica Let's Plays. There's not necessarily a lot, not necessarily a lot of people searching for Subnautica Let's Plays. So it makes sense that those aren't there. However, I see consistently at like lunchtime every day, there's a couple people from our community just signing on and watching Subnautica. I see you, I, see, I know, I know how the lunch break goes. I know you're sitting at work and you're like, man, I got like 20 minutes to go. Oh, Laura put out a 10 minute episode. Boom, boom, let's get some dopamine in. Thank you all for doing that, by the way, appreciate it. So this is something 
take it holistically. Don't just say, oh, my stuff's not performing, time to stop. We'll talk more about goal setting in another video because that's a very, very big one. So likes and comments are very important. It's something to track when you have your YouTubes. So we're getting a decent amount per video. I'm not super focused on the likes of a video necessarily. I like the comments more. So we've broken this out between shorts comments and non-short comments. So if we put out a video every day the last two weeks, that's 14 videos, we have 19 short comments. That means every video is on average is getting one comment. Again, that's fine. We're a new channel. This is like a check-in. This is meant to show y'all, here's what I did after two weeks. Here's what I'm seeing. Use this video as like a benchmark for you, if you're a creator and you've been doing stuff, are you above me? Are you below me? Let me know in the comments and we can grow together kind of thing. We're seeing a lot of likes, a couple dislikes too. No dislikes from my non-shorts, but we did have 25 dislikes on a short video. I'll show you the most disliked short. I'll show you. Our most disliked short video is a Bloodborne short with six dislikes. It's got about a 70% like to dislike ratio. Incredible. Amazing. You know, so for some reason, the Bloodboard community was like, get this out of here. Let's be clear. Dislikes are good for your video. They're still engagement. And YouTube uses the dislikes, just like the likes, to know who to serve it to. So if you're a creator and you get a bunch of dislikes, it's okay. If you're consistently getting dislikes, maybe don't post that every time. <laughs> okay, that's part of this. Okay, so dislikes aren't bad. Right, Jess, isn't that interesting? The Bloodborne video had the most dislikes. Now we get to the subscriber trends, okay? The bulk of our new subscribers were on two days, three days really, with 11 subs on one day. Well, this was actually a net of six because we did have people unsubscribe. By the way, people are gonna unsubscribe. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Keep on putting out content and you'll get better. We have a net gain of 59 subscribers in two weeks. So we gained 73 subs and lost 14. That's fine. These are typically bot traffic. You'll see people that sub and then unsub, or you see this on Twitter, people follow and then unfollow. It's common. It's not something to look at. Really what I'm tracking is for is a spike. Because if I post a video and I have like minus 50 subs, like, okay, what did I do? You know, like what happened that everybody's unsubscribing? That's the kind of thing where you want to pay attention to it. So these were mostly from shorts. We're going to get into all of this down here. But if you look at your user sub subscriber added, most of the subscribers, 37 subs came in from our dive bomb short. I'll show that to you right now. This short got the most views on any of the shorts we put out the last two weeks, and it got the most likes, and it got a bunch of comments, a bunch of engagement. It's no wonder why this was pushed forward by the YouTube algorithm, got almost 12,000 views in two weeks. Uh, I'm gonna play it. Warning for the headphone user, this might be loud. Let's see. Omega Buck Beak. Turning it down. Griffin, <laughs> yes. This Pteranodon is no longer our best flyer, our first ever Griffin, uh, Craigasm. Oh my God, chat. Why do you think this short did so well? We're high energy. The first frame of the short has audio blaring at you, and it's interesting. I did that on purpose. The first frame is like, what do you mean you have this like Omega Buckbeak thing, right? So if you're making shorts, this is the number one short that we have. And the final, one of the final pieces of value that you can take is make sure your shorts are high energy. Make sure your shorts are genuinely entertaining for every frame. You'll kind of see some of these gaming moment shorts where something good will happen, and the first 10 seconds is just quiet, or they're like pushing through a building if you're playing Warzone or something. Don't I'll be doing those. Every single frame needs to be engaging because people's attention spans are super short. So this is our, this is the example of our best short in the last two weeks, 11,000 views, a 98% like to dislike ratio with 367 uh, likes. That's one of our best ones with a bunch of comments. Someone just commented the word Bob. Let's get into our top five videos this past two weeks. We're gonna do something like this every so often to check in with y'all to see kind of how our content trends are going. So our top five videos in terms of views and views are one of the most important things you have to focus on when you're a new and scaling up creator because if you don't get views, you won't get subscribers, you won't get monetized. So instead of focusing on getting subs, focus on getting views. Advocate yourself to non-subs mostly. Subs are gonna watch you anyway. The more you, and you might say, but Laura, then shouldn't I just get subs? 
yeah, don't don't say don't subscribe, you know, don't subscribe to my YouTube. Don't do not do this. Instead, go for views. Go for people that will view your channel so that's more subs. As a marketing person, I could go on for literal hours about the subtleties of which metric to focus on. Suffice it to say, just listen to me and go after views. Okay, okay. You'll thank yourself. You'll thank yourself. So in the last two weeks, the number one video, they're all shorts, by the way. The top views, they're all shorts. So that, that alone, make shorts if you're a creator. Just right there alone. Our top five videos by a large margin. We're shorts. Go make shorts, okay? This is an ARC video. It's the dive bomb for me. Be aware of your surroundings. I think that was a... That is a Rainbow Six video. It's a funny Rainbow Six video featuring our old pal Mert, one of our stream fans. God bless you, Mert. You're fantastic. And we do a little scare. It's, a little, it's kind of funny, right? It's very high energy, a lot of laughing and smiles. I'm so proud that that's our number two video. Thank you, Mert. Nice 20 things. The Siege community, I noticed a couple trends with all of these videos. Our best shorts, TikToks, and reels were all either uh, Rainbow Six, Arc or like some very laughter focused video not necessarily me dying but like if something was objectively funny it did well so you know and then all of these are shorts this is another rainbow six video of course we had a subnautica one do well because we're posting subnautica content that makes sense uh this one is the death santa one which is the bloodborne one so look at that look at this the number five video with 1500 views of our top five viewed videos is also the one with the most dislikes uh, on the on the video. So this is like, this shows you the most dislikes on the entire video, but comparatively to the likes is what I'm talking about. This one got 15 likes and seven dislikes. So it's one third disliked, but that's still engagement. So YouTube uses that to push it out, to go to the algorithm. So don't hate dislikes, because again, one of our most percentage wise disliked video was our number five video. So Thank you for that, Fox. Incredible clip. Inc incredible. So this makes a lot of sense to me. Our episodic content and our live streams. Of course, you know, we have a low sub count. Live streams primarily go out to subs. So that makes sense. Our view percentage is something I'm looking at. Our views. This, our number one episode of uh, Subnautica is continuing to be the number one viewed video for the last two weeks with our Activision Blizzard lawsuit video being coming in at number two. That makes me very happy because that's something that I'm quite passionate about that issue. And the fact that people are coming to check it out makes me very happy. So, and then finally we have at the top 10 shorts, I've beat shorts to death. So what can you do? What can you do with all this data? If you're a creator, make YouTube shorts, make TikToks, make reels. We're gonna have another video next week or the week after something like that that's gonna compare the shorts to the reels to TikTok to see what the trends are there, what did good, what 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 didn't. I'll give you the like really quick and dirty of it that YouTube did best by a long shot, by a long shot. Then Reels, ironically enough, did really, really good in terms of views, in terms of viewership. Then TikTok. We're going to go into why in another video. So thanks, everybody. This was a nice little check-in on I did YouTube Shorts for two weeks, and here's what happened to it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you sub. Okay, we'll see you next time. Thank you very much.